everyone. This is Nibiru Watcher. It is July 10th, 2017. I'm on Jim Lord's YouTube channel. And apparently he lives in Australia, which makes perfect sense. That's why we're seeing the greatest shots of the black hole and the sun and the lens array and everything, I believe, because they're near the equator. So let's just watch this. Let me zoom this in. And I will slow this down, but let's watch this whole thing in its entirety. I'll go back. This spinning relatively quick, given the appearance of a circle, but I believe it's actually a cube. Possibly even a more more of a rectangle, even. Not sure of the exact shape, but it definitely seems to fit why we see some hexagonal shapes and square shapes, depending on where it's at in its spin cycle. Goes around the corner. Now I guarantee you he had seen this with the naked eye. Because you don't just start videotaping suns every single day unless something just really sticks out and like, what the heck is that? You break out your camera and you watch this amazing look at like the mirror like finish. You can see the square like texture. On this thing, let's watch that again in slow motion. We'll just do less last part. One quarter speed goes around the corner. Look at you even coming off the glass on the window. Look at things sparkle and shine, gold and silver. Seems to be spinning on this axis right here. These lines coming off of it too. Absolutely phenomenal pictures. You've got more like this. Thank you for sharing this with us. And yesterday I had posted this video of the same object. I don't know where this person lives, but I'll bet you they live closer to the equator. Like near Florida or in the UK. I don't know. I'm curious to see. But notice it's always at sunset. So here we have, this is full speed. Let's slow this one down again. And you got a nice close look at this spinning mirror. Yeah, I know. I was calling a Fresnel lens. I believe it's still there. I actually believe the Fresnel lens is in front of this. To diffuse this light. There is a lens as well. So for the sake of those who have never seen the fake sun, let me get into the previous stuff we've already talked about, the, the patent on this. This is the patent. You can go look this up, but this is the source of light. It could be mirrored in here also, but this source of light hexagonal bounces off this convex mirror goes through and this i believe is the spinning mirror side of this that reflects the light back in here this is the black hole this if we look at this forward this is a hole inside of a two sets of mirrors and you got to look down this thing like the rifle of a gun like i said looking down the barrel of this thing that's why not everybody gets to see the black dot so if we look at video uh, pictures that were sent in from a YouTube subscriber. If you know who you are, please leave a comment or email me again. These pictures, I'll give you the credit if you like. And uh, so here is it showing up on your garage spinning. That's just, I had to sit on this because I didn't know how to use these photos at the time. And now that I got something that corroborates of what I was saying. <laughs> Here is more pictures on the garage. These are all from the same subscriber. These are, you can watch this thing rotate. Look, this could be the lens, this double lens system on both sides. You know, I'm just theorizing here. And look at these lines through this that would, and the fact that it's yellow shows that it's probably got a gold surface. And watch this thing rotate continually as it passes in front of the garage. We could see uh, in this time lapse over our FAA camera, I was able to capture this.
picture here of the light source because that is the source of the light and I believe it projects it. That's why we, I believe we have a lens in front of this mirror, spinning cubic mirror. And then we got the Zion warrior who captured the same thing in Florida, again, near the horizon of the, I believe this to be the setting sun. And he was watching the set over in Florida last year. Watch him zoom in on it, the same thing. Let's see if I'll speed this up for us. Look at this right here. I believe whatever is making the sun get brighter is bouncing back off this mirror. That's why I think it's getting more obvious. And people are starting to stand and watch this, and including Eva Healy in the first from yesterday's video. She had seen it with the naked eye and got out her camera. People just don't start taping the sun every single day unless they saw something. Otherwise, the same old boring sun. Thank you, Zion Warrior, for this video. Here in Australia, in a time lapse, we can see the rotating mirror. And in a time lapse, we can see it rotating right here. And I think those two little circular things that we see rotating could be maybe a type of lens, also. Just a theory. Just by pure observation to see what we're seeing, those may be projecting those cones of light, also, that we saw these two cones of light that we saw in that previous video. And now, the bunkers, they still want to hold fast. This camera is an artifact, the overload sensor, but now we're seeing with the naked eye, so <laughs> you just keep blaming stuff on camera faults. But let's watch this reflect on the water. So why is it sometimes we see it? I mean, where's the overload? Then we should, you know, if we got the overload, then why should we always see the black dot, huh? Right. Because if it's all over camera, then we should always pick up the black dot all the time. Why is it only sometimes, unless you're near the equator and only in the sunrise? I mean, the sun's never changed in brightness, right? I mean, let's use logic. Seriously, why is there sometimes a black dot? Sometimes it's either always overloading the camera or it's not. And notice how it's reflecting on the water. This camera overload thing excuse is so flimsy. I can't believe that the trolls think we're that stupid to think that this is an overloaded sensor on a camera. Because... You should all it's all then then it should always be in every camera shot it should be on every freaking camera at least with the ones with no clouds in front of it because it, it's either overloading or it's not excuse me so once again i still keep asking questions why is the sun there i hope this answers if it doesn't i don't know what to say to you so we have a demonstration here the lamp on the ceiling would represent the true sign far away okay and we have a celestial body pass in front of it well we wouldn't want people to freak out but we do notice the sun dogs and halos here can't quite hard that <laughs> so let's put a flashlight in front of it and that's how you got your dark halos okay that's why it's there and the moon simulator, it's a little different because if we've got Nemesis star that would turn with the China's light on a moon, turning a new moon into a full moon or an eclipse of the moon from the same planetary bodies, turning a full moon into a new moon, that would also freak people out. So we also need to put objects and fake light in place so the people won't freak out during these eclipses i hope i made this clear anyway somebody may say clear as mud whatever i tried well 
Thanks again, Jim Lord, for this fantastic video. If you've got videos like this or images of square spinning objects on buildings, I'd love to have those. I would use them on your this channel. I give you all the credit. So thank you, Eva, who again, who said she had seen this with the naked eye. So please copy, like, and share this video. See you at the Lord's Supper.